The internet is obsessed with game development right now. From the rise of big time streamers like Pirate Software to viral gaming sensations like Lethal Company and Vampire Survivors, game dev is everywhere. Indie developers have started sharing their game making journey on YouTube, pushing solo development into the spotlight. With today's accessible tools and shared knowledge, there's never been a better time to start making games. Why is it the perfect time? Well, there are a few reasons. First, game development tools are widely available for free or very cheap. The barrier to entry for solo developers is incredibly low. Game engines like Godot are completely free and open source, allowing community modifications and coming with no licensing worries for commercial games. Secondly, the indie game market is experiencing massive growth. Each year brings several incredible games from small studios. Meanwhile, many AAA studios seem to be losing their way, focusing heavily on microtransactions and monetization schemes. I mean, seriously, does every game need a battle pass? There's also been a shift in developers pulling back the curtain to show what they're working on and how they're doing it. My personal favorite has been Inbound Shovel and his Game Dev Secret Short series. You definitely should check it out if you're interested in game dev. As for me, I've definitely caught the game development bug, but like not the one that ruins your game, but never mind. I've always wanted a new way to express my creativity. I want to start my own project and dive into game dev as a new challenge. My background really doesn't involve anything that's remotely related to game development, so I've got my work cut out for me. I've been inspired by game devs like Pirate Software, Dev Duck, Inbound Shovel, Aramis to tackle this challenge of making a game. I mean, it's going to be hard, and that's, that's okay, because it, they make it all sound so rewarding, and I just really want to push myself, so why not start right now? The plan is to start with small training projects that can eventually lead to a fully-fledged game. I've already begun my first project, a uh, Space Invaders asteroid clone where you fly this uh, rotisserie chicken. You fly this ship around, avoiding asteroids while taking down enemies from above the screen. Super simple, right? Right? I chose Godot as my engine because it's free and lightweight and there's also tons of tutorials and information about Godot out there. I'll be linking some YouTubers that I like in the description below, as well as expanding on some tutorials I really enjoyed in a later video. For the art, I'll be using Acebrite, the leading software for pixel artists. Very easy choice there. The main goal for this first project is to learn rather than actually release a game. So I haven't set a completion deadline yet, but I know scope creep is real and I'll need to decide on the end of the game very soon. The criteria I have been thinking about is whether I want this game to actually be Space Invaders-esque like this, where we are having enemies come from the top of the screen and coming down and trying to get into our base that we're trying to protect over here. I don't know if that's the end goal for this game. Uh, there is thoughts of maybe making this more of a uh, having your enemies run and attack you, my ship here in the middle. Um, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. I also want to flesh out a lot of UI, make them look nice, adding a save feature, make sure there's upgrades, whether it be bullet damage or maybe we make missiles of some sort and you only have a certain amount of them, maybe add more health to your ship. There's tons we can do with the game, but yeah, I just haven't quite put the final thoughts and goals on this project in word and in writing. I'll be documenting this journey here on my channel, so please subscribe if you'd like to follow along and offer feedback about what I should focus on in game dev. I'm a complete beginner. There's nothing really in my background that translates to any of this at all. So I'll know I'll make plenty of mistakes, but I'm excited to start creating something with all of you guys. Down below, I'll be linking my GitHub where you can see the repository for this project and maybe contribute suggestions or just any feedback you have overall. My goal is to learn in public with you all, and maybe together we can create something great. So with that, I'll be also linking my Discord in the description below, so feel free to join in, say what's up, and we can talk more about my project and maybe any projects you have too. I'd love hearing about what other people are working on. It gives me ideas, hopefully I can give others ideas. It's a great way to just talk back and forth. Thank you guys so much for watching. My live streaming schedule is also in my community section. So check that out too. And we'll see you in the next video.